Oh, give me these. Oh. Kirkland's milk chocolate raisins are way better than raisinettes. Fight me. I look a reflection high. Still wearing the Make 7 Up Yours shirt because I think two days in a row is what it required to break it back in. Mmm. Mmm. So, this. This box is from the UK. Mmm. Mukbang. And these are Scables, which is their pet name on the patron's shout for Skedra cables. To you people, they're probably known as Viking weave cables. And they require a lot of tape cutting, which I should have done off camera. Because we're very much in the realm of doxing right now. Oh, God. Could there be any more tape? And these came across the narrow sea, AKA the Atlantic, to bring me joy in trade for the Lutu Paw 6000. So, who run Barter Town? Zeos run Barter Town. We should have several cables and an interesting unit. Let's look at the unit first because it bring it will bring me joy. Well, actually, no, it'll make my work easier or harder. We'll see. It's been very, very well wrapped. Let's get these ends off. They should just pull off. Yes. So these are very, very well made uh, XLRs. I don't know what kind of wire this is, but I'm sure it's not bad. Actually, we got a lot labels here. Microphone cable. Magomi. This is Magomi wires with Nutrix tips, four poles. So these will get plugged into a headphone amp each. There's a red, a blue, and a black. And then this box, which I requested a slightly larger box, because he's had one of these made but not in the box, um, is a switcher for just taking those three and putting them out to this uh, four pole, four pin XLR female. So I can plug my headphone jack into this. Or since I have a bunch of heart audio cables, oh God, it stretches out. Heart audio cables, you know, you know what they look like. They have the little adapter on the end to plug into different things. So, <clears throat> Skedra or Viking Weave made it so I can plug the cable directly into this box. So I could skip an adapter that skips two connectors. Just go boop, straight into this with a, sked with a uh, heart audio cable. And then I can just set three different amplifiers. Click, click, click. I wonder if I could set, I'll have to ask them if I could use an adapter so I could put this in like the Rebel Amp unbalanced then like a 789 balanced and then like a tube amp and then just be like, I think you set the volumes on each and just go. It's a moth. So this will end up on my desk and I'll probably hate it. I might open it up and fill it with pennies. That was something I was going to ask him to do, but then I realized he was going to ship it. But I might pull open a thing and just literally fill. Like, I'll get rolls of pennies. It's probably the cheapest way to add weight to something, because copper is heavy as fuck. And you don't want to use, like, like unless you could find glass beads. Can I, find, can I just buy, like, a thing of glass beads and then just, like, pour them in here? Because it doesn't weigh enough to, like, sit on the desk while I'm plugging things in and out of it. So, that's one of the things I've done. I used to make old, cheap airsoft guns heavier by hot gluing pennies in them. Oh, shit. So it's that and two cables. I probably should get to the cables. Three cables? Wait, he might have made me three cables. All right, I'll do the small cables first. Should have checked the time. Oh. So the, the story behind Viking Weave is he joined my Patreon patronage chat like a year and a half ago when it first launched. And he was a jeweler and he used beautiful necklaces and stuff. And I'm like, you make headphone cables. And he made me that really intricate one where he metal weaved around the outside of the cable. And he was like, that was 70 hours. Can I never do that again? And then he started making just really intricately, beautifully made uh, just cables. So here's a two and a half millimeter to two and a half millimeter, two and a half millimeter balance to two and a half millimeter. And I will be using this for the Civca Phoenix as a portable on the BTR5. Cause that's, that's just, oh. That's some, that's some awe right there with these beautiful connectors. Stainless steel, a little bit heavier on this end. And then I think aluminum here 
keep the headphones light. Oh, let's just let's just lay that down. That one's empty. So now we have this one, which is small, which I think, yeah, this is the one he wanted to show me this material. Oh, Jesus. It's so soft. It just knotted itself. This is for IEMs. I asked for MMCX. I have adapters in case I don't want to use that. But the, this, which looks like two thick cables, is actually many, many, many little cables turned into rope, essentially. It's actually so soft it turned, it like knotted itself like a shoelace. Can I get this out? Oh, God. And uh, I did all this for trade. Oh, my God. He's got the um, custom sp uh, split adapter. That's that's fancy. And then if you go in here, I think if you twist this, yeah, you will see one, two, three, four. So this is eight. These are each four, but they look like a single rope. <laughs> this is a nice cable. This is one of those FU cables. Like, this is my headphones are fancier than yours. And I refuse to um, bite into the, well, headphone cables will make a difference. But I'll tell you what doesn't not make a difference. How you feel about something. What? What? Don't be mad at me. I'm doing an unboxing. We have to be joyous in your hot shower. Should be fine. We're going to watch, we're going to watch, um... Parasite. Um, anyway, this, yes, that's, I've never seen one like this before. And I'm glad he sent it because that's, that's, that's got some extra speciality to it, but nothing quite as special as the cable I actually requested. And this has been in the making now for like a year because I've been asking him and he had, he lost so, literally before COVID. And then when COVID happened, all the supplies dropped up and he couldn't get anything. And then finally he needed something I had. And I was like, all right, finish that cable. This patriotic looking motherfucker. Hold on. We have got, oh God. Fostex connectors going into an eight weave with blue is a silver cable, which again, I don't think matters for audio purposes, but fuck you. If I'm buying a cable or if I'm trading for a cable, it's going to be a fuck you cable. Silver with blue accents and silver with red accents. And there's no split. It goes all the way to the connector separate as eight channel. And then he got it into this head with 16 wires and wired them to the four pins. And this Is that and that means it's a heart audio end which means that I can take my TH 909s which are a pretty let's face it there's not many more headphones on the wall or in the gallery that scream fuck you like the TH 909s so I will plug them in on camera let's see let's go this way nope it goes this way yes these, these connectors, by the way, it's real hard to get. The Fostex connectors, the ones that clip in and match, because they want some absurd amount of money for them. Oh, so now my 909s have this beautiful separate cable. And the reason I like splits all the way to the bottom is because no matter which way I'm looking, no matter which way my head's going, I'm not getting, I'm not getting a tug job. I'm not getting a tug job from that middle bit like that. Because I can always feel when I'm like, catches and slides around so this is the ultimate setup for me god they're pretty god they're pretty and then since i have the hard audio connector on the end of it i can plug it in 4.4 pentacon a four pin xlr three and a half millimeter uh, just single ended two and a half millimeter balanced and plug it all in so i don't think he's made one of these this is the zeo special if you go to the link in the description which is just an email at this point because he doesn't have the site set up and you want the zeo special um i think I told him if they want this, they get, I get 10%. Give it to me. Give me money. He's paying to hang out in the chat. So I may as well m milk the audience, right? Right, Chewbacca? Chewbacca wants fancy food. Fancy, fancy food. So these are three fucking baller cables that I have to now thank him for sending all the way from the ook. The ook is where they came from. Oh, I can't wait to get the Sendi Ivers. The, not the Sendi. The Sendi Ivers. Actually, Sendi Ivers would also work in this cable. But, you yeah, know, this is three. I, uh, oh, okay. So, that was probably very long. But let's do at least one more.
This is a uh, tamper evident tape. I don't know why. I don't know what's in here. What's that, Chewbacca? Do you want a set of fuck you headphones? I can't play those. I can't play those. There's, 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 that's, that's, you can't do that. Unless I can, because she knows I was doing unboxing. <sighs> Chewbacca. Baby. She's just fucking off. She doesn't give a shit. What is this? Ah! Klipsch. So Klipsch contacts me, and this video is going to come out probably by the time I sh they arrive anyway. So remember when I had those big clip shears with the two tens and I reviewed them and then I'm like, well, clip shears equivalent are these R RP7 threes. And then the clip lady was like, hey, do you want those to review? And I'm like, yes. And then she said, well, you're gonna have to wait till November. Um, but we'll send you our true wireless in, you know, up until that point. So I have not heard good things about Klipsch true wireless. And you think, okay, Klipsch, I don't think headphones. But if we go back to my wall, or gallery, or whatever you want to call this. You go back to my gallery, right there are the HP3s. And they are honestly one of my favorite headphones. They're just some of the best built. Some of the most fun sounding. Some of the best accessoried, like the box it came in and the wires it came with. Like Klipsch knocked it out of the park with the HP3s and nobody bought them. Because I didn't get a pair like first day, I got a pair like two years into the run, and then I'm like, holy shit. And then they dropped on sale, and nobody was like, I don't give a shit about these, burr. People went burr. People go burr. And the problem with that is it's tainted sort of. I know so Clips made a really cheap set of headphones that no one had any buzz about. And it's hard to get out of your wheelhouse, which Clips is obviously giant speakers, right? Giant speakers? giant speakers so going into headphones at all they came out with strong they came out with fun well-made headphones and people who are spending eleven hundred dollars on headphones are like hur, 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 hur. so they failed slightly in that regard but i respect them and i love them for sure but now we've got these like klipsch and mclaren mclaren like the car uh t52 true wireless sport pasta uh see look no bullshit see there's a little is that a sticker can I? These are four stickers. You got a Klipsch sticker, a McLaren sticker, a Speedy Kiwi sticker, and a No Bullshit sticker. Um, and here we go. This is how we do it. This instruction is nice, clear manual because Klipsch is merc. Welcome to the speed of sound. Holy God. What is that? That is a metal. Like this sort of shit. Like, why do I need a metal serial number build date? thing for an IEM. I don't know, but I got one. And there it is. Look at this. Like this pops out. I should have probably done this in its own review. All your tips, small, small plus, medium plus, large and large plus. I guess that's the only way to label it. In this nice little container and explains everything to you. We've got... Oh my god, there's so many accessories. So these look like they have ear hooks that you could adjust. I've had a couple of them that have get off of here. Ear hooks. Oh god, I lost one. Get get out of the berg. I actually almost did lose one. No screenshots of my feet on Twitter, please. We've got another set of tips. Foam that apparently don't fit in that category. Looks like we got a, a charging cable, a fucking charging cable. And you know what? I, before I even take it out of the bag, I know it's the best charging cable. Because it's Halloween colors. It's orange and black. And it's USB, actually it's USB-C to USB-C. So they expect me to have a USB-C charger somewhere. Which I don't. I don't have a USB-C charger. I gotta buy one. I think everything's going that way and... Boop. So that's nice. An adapter. Oh, oh, in case you don't have a USB-C, you have an adapter to convert it. Oh, that's a nice one. That's aluminum. Klipsch doesn't fuck around with any of this stuff. There's no fuckery. It's just serious business. 
and everyone should take it more seriously than they do. So we've got safety compliance, we've got more safety compliance, we've got another, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a wireless charging pad that says Klipsch McLaren. That's really nice. So that's got a button, it's got the USB-C input. So you plug this in to charge it, you just drop it down. And then you have, here are the actual true wireless. Interesting, the, the tips are a little bit ov ovoid. You can see it's wrapped in the, uh, well, let's just face it, that looks like a little dong. I'm just gonna put little dongs in my ear. See those penis ears has been gone for a while, I'll bring him back. And then here's the actual travel case, which, huh? Is that silica in there? Can I pop that out? Okay, that's some... This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eclipse knows they don't make this shit. So Eclipse makes great speakers. I want you to buy this shit, so how do they convince you to buy this shit? How about steps above and beyond? Like, that's a, that's a silica-filled, moisture-absorbing pack. I wonder if they sell you this. Or if you could open this up even more and replace it yourself. That whisk, wicks moisture away. I don't know how long that's supposed to last, unless this is special long-lasting stuff. Let's see if that goes in here. It wouldn't pop out if it wasn't replaceable. And here's your left and right holders, which let's try this. Are they indicated? Indicated well. Left. Holds penis ears. Right. Holds penis ears. That one started, oh my god, everything lit up. We got red and blue and white. It's all there. And oh, this is a waterproof case. There's a rubber seal around it. And oh sure, feel that. And then look, it latches down. I can throw this in the, my sink. I'm not going to, but this is waterproof and can go in my sink. And here's a little lanyard that says speed of sound. All right, that's dumb. This is all very dumb in the best way possible. And I can feel the little magnet when I just put it down on that. I would use these just for their fucking compact, just for what they're doing. This is a little bit large, but I mean, it's, it's doing quite a bit. Yeah, I just hope they sound good. I just hope, because this is supposed to be like the revision two or three of these. And the first one is even the woman admitted like, yeah, they weren't great, but we just wanted to get something on market. Now they've actually had time to deal with it. So hopefully I don't have to give these like a meh review. I want to give them a yes, fuck Eclipse review, because I do like Eclipse as a company. I mean, their heresies will pretty much live here forever. Until I die and they bury me in them. Actually, that'll be real hard. They'll have to cut me into pieces. So I'm gonna sort these out, deal with everything, and then I'll tell you how they are in like one of those review videos that I do. Meantime, we're getting on to movie, movie time. So I'll be back later or tomorrow with another unboxing. And I don't even get the chance to listen to these. Ugh.